Welcome to 77 Paisa channel. In this video, I am going to walk you through what I consider as the top three and the worst three gifting ideas. This is purely based on the utility and not based on emotions. So obviously this applies to a gift to a co-worker or a relative, but certainly not for your life partner or a family member. Okay, let's start with the worst gift ideas. The topmost is repackaging a random unused gift that you received to somebody else. Your gift is a reflection of your class. Never do this. Next one is gifting someone a store specific gift card. You might have analyzed the spending pattern of a person or randomly picked up a gift card and then gifted this to someone. Still, it's not a great idea. Two main reasons. Number one is the expiry date of the gift card. You never know when it is going to expire. The person received also may not know when it will expire. So you are forcing that person to use it immediately. Next one is some of the terms and conditions. Two examples I can give you is recently my wife got a bba.com gift card for 2000 rupees and when she tried to make a purchase of 1600 rupees or so, she was told that you had to forfeit the remaining 400 rupees. She was forced to buy things for 2000 rupees even though she did not have a need to do that second example is some of the travel portal gift cards when you try to use a travel port gift card in a travel portal like uh, clear trip or make my trip most probably these travel portals will not allow you to apply a discount code or some other voucher which means that typically you would get like 10 to 15 percent discount using some other uh, uh, coupons or voucher codes and they will not be able to get this if you are they if they are using a gift card two good ideas to avoid this gifting third one it's not really a bad idea it's good in fact to think about that particular person and then buy a gift that they that you perceive would be of very much utility for that person but unfortunately if you do not give them a gift receipt or a regular receipt the utility of that may be limited the reason for that is you are gifting something she he or she might be already having that gift in that case they may want to return this gift and buy something else so if you had gifted it with the receipt or a gift receipt they would have very well done it and they would be happy with the gifting they would be very happy with what they have received please keep in mind that amazon has a feature where you can mask the price and send a gift receipt to the gift recipients you may want to check amazon.in for that now let's take a look at the top three gifting ideas purely based upon the utility of the gift. At number three is Amazon Pay gift cards. Even though I said that the store specific gift cards are not good, I would still say that Amazon gift cards are very good because of the utility that it has got. You can buy Amazon gift cards in two different options. One is a physical gift card and the other one is an e-gift card. The advantages of physical gift card is you can use it to buy any item on Amazon.com or even you can use it to pay your utility bills using the Amazon Pay utility bill pay feature it comes in pretty nicely packaged boxes it's safer than e-gift cards few disadvantages with the amazon gift card is that uh, it comes in limited denominations you may not be able to get a hundred rupee physical gift card with free shipping and also uh, it is uh, if you want to stock up some gift cards and then give it to different people at a particular occasion, your money is getting locked in that gift card. You may have to buy the gift card today and gift it like a month or two months down the line, which means that your money is locked there. And also the card expiry, you would have like one or two months would have expired by the time you gift the cards. So the alternate for that is an e-gift card put up in a nice envelope. So Amazon has got quite a lot of nice looking envelopes or you can buy it from a supermarket or a greeting card stores and then you can order Amazon Pay e gift cards to your own email ID and then take a nice printout of that one, keep it inside this envelope and then present it. It's, it has got quite a lot of advantages because it comes in any denomination if you want if you think that okay my the gift recipients lucky number is triple seven you can print a gift card for 777 rupees so it comes in any denomination your money is not locked you you buy the gift i mean you pay for the gift card now you get receive the gift card in like five minutes and also it has one full year validity the only disadvantage is if you don't have access to a safe printer like a printer at home or a or a printer at office then uh, it has got some challenges you got to be very careful while printing that one 
and if you look at the video description i have given some links to some of the very beautiful envelopes that amazon itself sells you can buy those envelopes and pack these e gift cards in those envelopes all these envelopes are very very reasonably priced with each envelope costing just 4 rupees or something like that the next one is setting up of a gift registry. This would not apply for one-to-one -one gifting, but if a colleague of you is getting married and he or she has invited 20 people in your team, it makes much sense to set up a gift registry. You can ask the person to set up a gift registry and then share the gift registry to all your colleagues. You can take a look at the things that this person has uh, indicated in his or her wish list and each one of you can pick up one of those items according to your budget and then gift it gift it accordingly there are quite a lot of uh, gift registry websites purposefully i'm not giving that because i have not personally used that and i do not know how reliable they are but at the same time amazon has got a feature that can be used as a gift registry which is nothing but amazon wish list you would have seen wish list in a lot of places but you may not have known that wish list can be used as a gift registry go to the amazon.ins wish list and it will explain you how it can be used as a gift registry in the video description i have provided links to the gift registry as well and the topmost one is cash or gold coin there is nothing that beats the utility of cash or a gold coin between these two i prefer a gold coin to cash because this is something that the person is not going to immediately spend it and it is something that that would be of real value for them at a time of need for them okay even though this is purely a utility based uh, video there is one exception that I want to tell you, which is gifting for kids' birthdays. Gifting a gift card or a gold coin or cash is not really a great gift idea because kids want to see something. They want to have something in their hands immediately. So keep that in mind. And I have come up with a separate video on kids' gifting ideas that you, would, you see on the top left-hand corner. Please check that out as well. Thank you for watching and happy gifting. If you found this video informative, please like this video, share this, subscribe to my channel and click the bell button as well. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, please use the comment section and we'll respond as soon as possible. Once again, I want to remind you that the Amazon links for those beautiful envelopes, gift registry and gift cards, all of them are given in the video description. Check them out. Thanks and bye-bye.